The world is made up of a rainbow of colors. So what happens when we go outside of the box and apply those colors to our embroidery patterns? Hello YouTube, my name is Sammy and welcome back to Sammy's Workshops. Stick around and find out what happens with that rainbow of colors. Before we get to today's video, be sure and hit the like, subscribe, and click on the alert bell to get notified of new videos as they're being uploaded. New videos are uploaded every week on Wednesday with some others in between as time and projects allow. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram or support the channel on Patreon. Have a website as well for patterns and plans that are available. And you also will find links to the tools and supplies I use if you want to get those same items in the comments below. Now let's get to today's project. A couple of years ago, Anita Good Design released a collection called Celtic. It's part of their mix and match quilting series. Here's the cover art showing the traditional colors of gold threads on green and brown backgrounds and it's lovely as designed. For those of you who do their All Access program, I believe it came out in August of 2015. So just before Valentine's Day, the next spring, a friend of mine mentioned that they were redecorating their daughter's bedroom in a princess theme, and that she likes dark reds and pinks. So I stitched out the Cladaw pattern, which has a heart and a crown held by two hands at the core of the pillow design. Uh, that would be the center square for an 18 inch pillow. I added some pink squares for variety and a dark berry. Um, and then I used dark berry, light and dark pink, and some gold threads and got this lovely 18 inch square pillow. Then mom and I got to collaborating on some other comb color combinations using the same Celtic patterns. We made this lovely set on purple and violet fairy frost fabrics and used purples, golds, and violets for the thread colors. This made an 18 inch pillow. Uh, next was a set that we did on dark blue Kona using charcoal, light and dark silver gray, and a pale teal blue. I sold several of these sets to co-workers and I think they came out just lovely. Then came the idea for a set that I have not as yet sewn the individual pieces together, but all the parts are embroidered. I made a nine piece set for each of three pillows on bronze, old gold, and teak colored, excuse me, teal colored fairy frost fabric. Fairy Frost is a Michael Miller fabric line and it's gorgeous. I use it on many things since it's very elegant looking. I decided on these three pillows to mix and match the pieces to kind of get a set feel. Um, all were stitched with the same set of thread colors, old and bright gold, a dark brown, a bright yellow, and a bright teal blue. The intention was to give them a southwestern or Santa Fe flavor. I will have a construction video on how I make these pillow faces and then we'll go ahead and make the pillow covers out of them as well. I stitched out a set of kitchen towels for a friend on black and black on white towels and then did a Celtic design on a black sweatshirt for a friend. And lastly here is a set with gold threads and dark brown on bronze fairy frost. This is closer to the traditional Celtic colors, however that sparkle in that fairy frost really makes things pop. Thanks again to Michael Miller for the great fabrics. Sometimes taking a step or two outside of the box really works out well. So the next time you've got a pattern to stitch and you're following the suggested color scheme, take a spare square of fabric, I use some leftover fabrics from prior projects for this, grab a few thread colors that coordinate with that fabric and let the creative juices fly. 
If it doesn't turn out so well, well, pop it into the scrap bag. I'll have an upcoming video or two on what to do with those scraps, and we'll not let anything go to waste. Till then, have lots of fun. That's all I have for this time, so until next time, see ya! If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and click on the alert bell to get notified of new videos being uploaded. I upload new videos each week on Wednesday with some others in between as time and projects allow. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a website as well for the patterns I digitize and plans to download. And of course I have a Patreon account too if you'd like to support the channel that way. There are some thank you items coming for valued supporters of the channel. There's also Amazon links to tools and supplies I use if you want to use the same items. And that also helps support the channel. Big thanks to the folks at Amazon for that. And also be sure to leave a comment or a suggestion in the, comment, in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you'd like to see here. I started this channel to answer questions and to provide how-to advice based on past questions and comments from family and friends.